But he turns out that this guy's. Well, the last time I talked to him, he said that so far it had cost him seventeen thousand dollars to build his house. So I'm going seventeen thousand dollars, and he's got a house mortgage free. You know, you talk about sustainability. Well, that is certainly a sustainable procedure of going through. And now he's he's off grid, uh, still generating his own electricity and, and whatnot. That is really an economical way to live. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. Today we're in Crake, Saskatchewan. We're here to visit the Crake Eco Village, which is a small community that was set up. The lots were offered for a dollar each to try and attract new folks to this small town in rural Saskatchewan. And they came here to be build eco-friendly, sustainable homes. We're here to find out how it all turned out. So come on in, let's go have a look. Hi, I'm Brent Kruger. Um, we're here in Craig, Saskatchewan, which is about midpoint between Saskatoon and Regina, and uh, this is my abode. Kruger's a kind of unofficial tour guide here in the Craig Eco Village. He runs a boarding school with a focus on sustainability and entrepreneurialism, and he was the first to build and overwinter here. We had to make a commitment to live to build environmentally friendly, and we're looking at heat and electricity and um, and water and all of those types of things the deal was you could get your land for a dollar you could buy your lot for a dollar but it was unserviced and lots of people that are building here are building off-grid uh, with alternative heat sources and um, alternative water and or sewer usage or methodologies you know his house is built out of energy-efficient insulated concrete forms. It uses composting toilets, captures rainwater, and has a wood pellet heating system. There are really no rules, so each Crake Eco Village resident came and created their own recipe for what an eco-friendly home is. And this is definitely part of the charm of Crake. We toured around the Eco Village with Brent in his truck. I love this truck. Never plugged in and it always starts. Driving around the Eco Village, even in the dead of winter, this place has a scruffy, shaggy dog charm to it. These people have taken a bare patch of unserviced prairie and turned it into their own little green utopia. There are homes made from sea cans buried underground. There are straw bale homes, tiny homes, homes made from found materials, and there's a gaggle of small wind turbines and solar modules. We talked to Kelly Taylor Fay, another Crake Eco Village resident who moved here from Saskatoon with a plan. All piece of prairie with no services, no anything. There was a, a basically a alfalfa field, and so our grandioso plan was to put a 7,000 square foot retreat house on it, and uh, hold workshops and teach pottery, photography and uh, try to get people from the cities to come out and just relax and, and take life a little bit easier. Unfortunately, a freakish sustained windstorm knocked down their half-built dream home as well as their wind turbine. But instead of giving up, the Taylor Faze turned their workshop into a new compact straw bale home and continued their journey. So the way that it works is our uh, electricity, we produce ourselves 100% uh, from wind and from solar. And we do have a generator backup for when we have a, a couple of months out of the year where there isn't much of either one of those, those two products. But for the most part, we get too much wind that we, we don't know what to do with the excess power that we have. So, uh, so it works well for us there. Uh, our water system, uh, about 50% of it comes from uh, the rain off of our roof. So we collect that into a, a storage tank underground and we bring that back into our house. We filter it through three different uh, filtration systems and then we use that for everything from bathing to drinking as well. The Taylor Fays use wood for space heating with propane backup, which is also used for hot water and cooking. Still, Kelly doesn't consider it a rustic lifestyle. We kind of have to laugh because uh, some uh, somebody uh, that I was talking to on the phone had said, boy, I don't know how you guys do it. I can never go back to, to ancient ways like that. And when I hung up the cell phone, I looked around 
and our two kids and my wife were all on high speed internet and the TV was going at the time they were watching Netflix and I was in the middle of steaming the milk for my latte in the morning and I thought man yeah we really have it bad so, this is living in a cave, <laughs> living in a cave yeah. <laughs> while the Taylor Fays rebuild a scaled down version of their green retreat space life ticks on in Craig's eco village Patricia and Ed Linfoot moved back to Saskatchewan from Mexico to be with family they saw the lots available for a dollar while visiting a daughter at the Eco Center in Craig and decided in their 70s to plop down a dollar and build a straw bale home on the prairie. So we came the next spring and we set up and we were going to build a straw house out of flax bales. And we took our trailer and went out to a place that had stacks of them and loaded a few and I said to Patty, they're 75 pounds each. Uh, she was on one end and I was on the other. And I said, we could probably get the first row done, but what about the eighth row? And so we looked at alternates and somebody suggested that we look into ICF blocks, which were, and that's what we built our house out of. We talked to half a dozen Eco Village residents and every story was different and interesting. It's truly a unique place. The idealism of going green combined with the harsh practicalities of living on the Canadian prairie. But the overall goal of the project wasn't really to build green homes or kickstart a green community. The real reason behind starting the Eco Village was to rejuvenate and increase the population of a slowly dying prairie town. Uh, cities are getting bigger and the rural areas are getting smaller. But in the last census, there is only, there's two rural jurisdictions in Saskatchewan that did not lose population. One of them is Creek, and I believe that it's, uh, it's because of this. Since bringing in the Eco Village in 2005, the population of the town of Craig has increased by 11%. The surrounding county where the Eco Village actually sits has increased its population by 5% and the community even attracted a new cutting-edge business to Crake. Titan Carbon Smart Technologies makes biochar right in Crake, attracted, they say, by the eco-village concept. There's a ton of stuff we couldn't fit in the video. Check out our blog, photos, and our podcast at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and be sure to tell your friends. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. If you like this episode, check out our episode called How We Built an Earthship, a radically sustainable off-grid home on the prairie. And if you're still listening, you should subscribe to our videos. We produce a new story every two weeks.